on a hike right now in Kauai, but I don't know the name of it. And I haven't really took many videos since being on this trail because this seems like a very dangerous trail in my opinion. It's rated as difficult on all trails and as you can tell by my hands, I had to do a lot of uh, climbing and, and it's really muddy and slippery so I just didn't want to be distracted by my phone or my camera. But look, I just found some mushrooms. There's a huge waterfall over there, so I'm gonna try to get around these things. I think I'm gonna go over there, actually. Just a few minutes ago, you can't really see it right now, but these bright yellow leaves were just falling down right when I got down here. I need to hurry up, though, because it's starting to rain, and I just wanna get some shots of this waterfall and then start making my way back up, because I don't wanna get caught in the rain here. Wow. From where I parked, you can see the waterfall, but I really wanted to get down here. It's not raining too bad, so I'm not really that worried. It's just lightly drizzling, but it might sound louder because of the waterfall. Oh my God. You guys. What? This is fucking insane. I have my bathing suit on, so I kind of want to jump in. Not gonna lie. Why wouldn't I? Just the power and energy in that water. It literally looks like three little separate waterfalls. The water is pretty cold, but it feels incredible. It feels like I'm just being recharged. Just the power of the water and the freshness of the water. It's unbeatable. The texture of these rocks too, and all the green, the texture of the leaves, kind of soft, the rough rocks, the fluid water. I just, oh, I feel so blessed to be able to experience this and all that exists here. I'm gonna try to dry off for a few minutes before I head up. Wow, look at the bark on this tree. It's actually starting to get sunny now and it stopped drizzling. So I think I might chill here for a few more minutes. Bye, beautiful waterfall. It's time to make our way back up. I'll show you guys once I get to it, the hardest part of this trail so far, or the hardest part that I noticed when I came down. So you can see there's this fat rope. Initially, it was more to the left, but I pulled it over to the right a bit because the whole middle and to the left is extremely wet and really slippery. There's no way I would have gone down this if the whole thing was wet, but there's a pretty fat chunk on the right over here. I'll show you guys. This whole right side is dry. Not bad getting down over here, but it's so steep. You literally have to like rock climb, use the ropes. So I'm not gonna video myself going up this cause I need to be careful, but this was definitely the most challenging spot. So much easier going up. I was actually really nervous going down just because if you slide down that thing, you will get really hurt, I feel. But going up was pretty easy. I still have this fat rope helping me along the way. I'm almost back to the top. I literally have only been walking for about 10 minutes now. I feel like it, it took me close to like 20, 25 minutes to get down because, I don't know, going down something so steep like this 
was really challenging and you just gotta take your time with it. But I made it. I'm not gonna tell you the name of this hike because I don't know if it's even open right now. There's a big fence saying like hazardous cliff area closed, but this part wasn't fenced off. I don't wanna encourage people to come here if it's not really allowed. I mainly just wanted to video this as like a video documentation for myself and to show people some beautiful nature and to hopefully inspire somebody to go outside and play and to just take advantage of what the earth has given us. And yeah, I am done. I'm driving from this way. I saw this little fruit stand. I wasn't sure if there was anything here, but it looks like they have bananas. They say that you're welcome to sample them and then there's their prices. I love little fruit stands like this. Usually a lot cheaper than buying produce from like grocery stores. I'm gonna sample a banana, write a little thank you note and be on my way. Well, might as well take this one since <laughs> I'm just gonna sample one. I don't have any cash on me, so I'm not gonna pick up any others, but grateful that they offered samples because these are my favorite bananas. I'm in the middle of editing this and I need a smoothie break and I wanna show you what I'm gonna make. Half chocolate, half vanilla, because when you got both, why not? <laughs> These are frozen kale stems. I am trying to eat as much of my produce as possible. So in an attempt to make less trash, and like I said, to eat it all, I just freeze the stems. I think they're healthy for you too. So this protein powder that I used it's from this brand called Bell Light. They did send me this, so thanks to them. It was actually perfect timing when they reached out to me. I just ran out of protein powder and I was about to go get some, so that was really convenient. I started making these protein smoothies when I moved here to Hawaii in an attempt to gain a little bit of weight, to keep better track of the amount of protein that I'm eating, and those are like the biggest two reasons, honestly. They are keto friendly, they're not made with sugar or gluten, so they reach out to more than just plant-based people. There's 20 grams of protein per serving and it's made from pea protein, which is also interesting. You're also getting a bit of fiber when you're taking their protein, so it's helping to regulate digestion. Also helps with post-workout recovery and reducing cravings and stuff like that. Sometimes, like right now, I'll have this smoothie and it's almost like a meal like i won't not that i'm trying not to eat lunch for example but i won't need lunch after eating this because it fills me up so much really yummy flavors too i prefer the chocolate by itself i only really eat the vanilla if i'm mixing them i'm just not like a vanilla girl so yeah if you're interested in checking them out i'll leave some discount information on the screen and i'll leave their link down in my description if you want to get some protein powder okay back to hiking Waimea Canyon State Park, I'm pretty sure. It won't be for clout, it won't be for fame, it won't be because my shit ain't selling the same. I'm in the most sketchy little pullout area, so I'm not gonna get out the car, but literally, what the fuck? It is 
59 degrees here. Thank God I brought a flannel. I don't know what happened, but I have cuts all on the top of my foot. Normally, I wear my hiking boots for hikes because that's what they're for. But I didn't bring them, so I've just been wearing Converse that I've had since the 11th grade that are completely, like, they're comparable to, like, bald tires. There's no grip, so there's a good chance I'll eat shit. I almost forgot to tell you. One of my most important things that I think everybody should do before going on a trail, especially if you're going solo, I do a lot of this stuff by myself, always let somebody know where you are. I made it to where the trail that I intended to do is, except it's starting to rain and it's super cloudy. I don't mind the rain and I don't mind the cold. I just wanna make sure it isn't too slippery or dangerous to do. It also looks like it's closed off, kind of like the one yesterday. So I walked around the whole fence and there's an opening over there. So I'm just gonna go as far as I can. And if it feels sketchy, I'll just turn around. I don't recommend doing trails that are closed at all. But I also just trust my ability and I'm not worried about turning around if it feels too hard. Kind of just checking how slippery things might be before fully stepping. There's also quite a bit of like roots and like little stairs made by the roots. So that way I kind of have some grip. I was just over there and I found this little like spot to stand and look at this view. The sun's starting to come out. It's not drizzling anymore. It is still cloudy a bit. But look. Up until this point, it hasn't been extremely steep, so I haven't been worried about slipping. This is one of the most beautiful scene, scenery, scenes I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot of beautiful things in beautiful places, but I just can't get over the combination of the clouds, the blue sky, the blue ocean, the red rocks, the green, all of it. Even though it is pretty steep still, I decided to keep going. It's not as slippery as the beginning and I don't feel like I am pushing my limits. It's starting to rain a bit heavier and I just don't want to push it, so I'm going to turn around. I don't know how far I got. I think I'm about a third of the way down. And this is actually a two mile in and out. I thought it was only one mile. So I don't want to push going down a mile and risk it raining even heavier and then having to come up in the mud. So I'm going to turn around. I really wanted to get to the bottom, but it's not worth getting hurt i made it back to the car if i had my hiking boots i would have probably done the whole mile down and up but wasn't prepared that's okay though because initially i was planning on doing this like waterfall hike that's in the area here but a local recommended this hike that's why i came to check it out so i'm gonna just go see if i can find the trail that i initially wanted to do and hopefully it's not raining over there change of plans like always instead of going down the way i came i just ended up going the way that i was going and i made it to the top you literally can't drive any further than where i'm at so i feel really stoked this drive was absolutely incredible i highly recommend checking out this state park if you're ever visiting Kauai, or even if you live here and maybe haven't been here before the drive itself is mind-blowing there's trails up here i just came from down there i thought it was just gonna be a lookout but seems like it's an entrance of a trail i've seen a few people come in through here this might be more promising than where i just came from where i just came from because this is wider and it's not on the actual cliff edge i feel like this would be a way easier trail just because it doesn't seem steep at all however i'm freezing <laughs> So I'm making my way back to my car. I'm gonna just head down the way I came from. I'm stoked that I made it to the top of this drive, like to the top of the state park, but um, I'm not in the mood to hike up here. It's just cold and raining up here. Much sunnier here and a lot drier. The trail that I'm doing right now is Waiapu Falls. 
and yeah it just seems like a pretty moderate short hike to a waterfall so dry over here it's almost as if it it wasn't raining today this seems like the muddiest so far on this trail so very very dry compared to where i just came from so doable not very steep not that many people i did pass a few people but it's not super crowded i hear the waterfall I met this girl and some guys. They were super sweet and they were just giving me like the scoop on the falls. I guess there's a few different waterfalls and there's swimming holes. So the girl said I can go down this way, look at the fall and then it kind of does a loop to like a little swimming hole. That's what I'm trying to get to. That's all I could see from where I was. Holy shit. I know for sure my camera is not doing this any justice, but my eyeballs cannot believe this. This is the second waterfall with like little swimming hole. So I am going to jump in, cool off. This just keeps going down and ends up connecting to that, uh, that first waterfall that I just saw. I forgot to film an ending for this video, so here's the end. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and like I said, I hope it can just inspire somebody to go outside and to have fun and to play in nature. I love filming hiking videos like this just to share my adventures and to document for myself. If you liked it, please thumbs it up, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.